he's in the category of very good. Um, not great. Um, at least his resume is not great. Phillip Rivers, to me, is not a Hall of Famer. Um, I say that respectfully because I'm very fond of him. Um, and I appreciate the career that he's had. You throw for over 63,000 yards, I'm going to give you the respect that it's due. You barely have a two-to-one turn- touchdown to turnover rate to interception ratio. I think it's like, what is it, 421 touchdowns, mm-hmm. 209 interceptions. You completed about 65% of your, co- your career passes, 649 to be exact. Um, you've quarterbacked in the National Football League for 17 years. You made the playoffs seven times. All right? And you never went to a Super Bowl. That is not Hall of Fame. We can slice it any way we want to. That is not Hall of Fame. Um, and if there's anybody with a comparable resume that's in the Hall of Fame, you are doing to a disservice to those who are in the Hall of Fame already with obviously more lofty, a uh, much more lofty resume. Uh, championships matter. Appearances in championship games matter. Continuity in postseason play matters. All of those things lend itself towards validating. And again, you don't have to win the championship, but all of those things validate. A combination of all of those things. When I'm able to look at your t- TD to interception ratio, when I'm able to look at you being out of the playoffs more than you were in the playoffs, when I'm able to look at the fact that you've never won a championship, nor have you ever competed in the championship game, it's hard for me for you to have a resume that's absent all those things and then to say you're a Hall of Famer when I'm looking at most Hall of Famers and they don't have that problem. I can't do that. I respect the hell out of Phillip Rivers. Um, His knowledge of the game is not to be questioned. Some of the great moments he produced is not to be questioned. I mean, no disrespect, but that resume is not not a Hall of Fame Fame resume. Very good. What do you say? Yeah, he's in the Hall of Very Good, I agree. And the tough thing is, and I think he might actually eventually get in, Normally, what you said would keep him out, but because he came from the same draft class as Eli and Roethlisberger, uh, and Roethlisberger's a Hall of Famer, I think we all agree he's going to get in. Yeah. And Eli, because of his play in the playoffs, is going to, he won two Super Bowls and on the road beat Favre and Rodgers at Lambeau in two different seasons and Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And he's one of the most clutch players in the history of American team sports when you look at how he, he's going to probably get in also. Mm-hmm. And I think when people look at it, they're going to say, I remember Rivers and Eli, and Rivers was maybe a little better than Eli normally. I think he'll eventually get in. But I, I think agree. he gets in, too. I agree. And also, he had an Iron Man streak, like Eli, yep. for a long time. And he was a team guy and a tough guy. But I agree he shouldn't get in. Number one, the numbers that he put up, which were excellent, and I was rooting for him, and I always thought he would win a Super Bowl. He was playing in a Norv Turner offense a lot of the time compared to, say, someone like Eli was playing in a windy situation where the offense was much simpler and more quarterback-friendly, and he had less responsibility in that offense than, say, Eli. And the reason I'm bringing up Eli, not because I'm a Giants fan, but because we all agree on Roethlisberger. Mm -hmm. He's getting in. So Rivers' stats maybe look a little bit better than they should, in fact. And as Stephen A. points out, they don't look, oh, my God, all-world incredible. And then he was on enough good teams where special quarterback play maybe at least gets you to a Super Bowl. And too often, he didn't come through with good enough play. And a couple times, you could point to it and say, Rivers really should have played better in that game. I think what it adds up to is because of the quarterback class he was in and how he compares to those guys, eventually he'll get in. But I, it pains me to say because I always rooted for him. I wouldn't vote for him. Do you realize that Phillip Rivers never missed a game in his career? Yeah, that's he, the I'm kind of thing. I'm just yeah. looking at his numbers. Every year since 2006, he got drafted in 2004, of course. 2006, he became a starter. Yep. He played all 16 games. For the last 14 years. I mean, that's got to count for something. When we talk about counts, situation in our earlier debate, yes, he wasn't necessarily counts, in the best situation. It counts, one one either, it counts to give him respect. Yeah. It does not make not him a Hall of Not the call to the Hall? I, I think right. Roethlisberger and Eli kind of drag him in. I think they drag him out. Because he well, didn't Stephen win. Well, Stephen A. doesn't did. even think Eli, I'm, yeah, Eli should be in. You know, You've I argued was, that I, before. I've questioned that, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+.